to today's Coronavirus Cinema Collection. I'm Gail Rubin, the Doyen of Death, with film recommendations for hunkering down at home. These are films that help educate about funeral planning issues while entertaining at the same time. Today, we're looking at the funeral director on film. Our first film is not a film, but a television series. Six Feet Under, which ran on HBO from 2001 to 2005. This is an amazing groundbreaking series, which took you behind the scenes of the Fisher and Sons funeral home in Los Angeles. Each episode of Six Feet Under starts with somebody dying, and then the preparation of their funeral or memorial service plays out over the course of that episode. But we also see how the family of funeral directors responds as their lives, which are kind of dysfunctional, play out. The first episode shows Nathaniel Fisher Sr., the founder of the funeral home, driving in his brand new hearse. He's been sneaking cigarettes when he's out of the home, which is also the funeral home. Runs a red light because the cigarette drops on the floor and gets creamed by a bus. This is an indirect way of getting killed by smoking cigarettes. Six Feet Under deals with a whole host of funeral industry issues, which most people in the general public probably didn't know about. They talk about the consolidation of the industry by a major corporation that was buying up independent funeral homes and putting them into their system. Yes, this really did happen. They have funeral directors who were their consultants on the series to make sure that they got many of the details correct. In fact, one of the storylines included an accident in the prep room where blood starts bubbling up out of the drain in the floor. This actually happened at a real funeral home. Six Feet Under also dealt with trends which were just developing at the time. They talk about green burial, and this was 2005, so 15 years ago. There's been much more interest and growth in green burial since the series was first on. And they also look at the growth in cremation, which has definitely accelerated over the past 15 years. Just Buried is a 2007 quirky comedy which features a young man who was estranged from his father and he inherits a funeral home from this man he didn't know. He meets a young lady who works there, a female mortician, who really likes her job. I got a funeral home in a town where no one is dying. You want to get something to eat? If you guys stay any longer, I'll be bringing you breakfast menus, miss. <laughs> I'll have another gin and tonic and a piece of that turtle pie, and he'll have another beer. Why a mortician? I like it. I could never do it. Why? I'm scared to death of death. I think people who are afraid of death are more afraid of life. How do you do it? You wash the body with the germicide insecticide olfactant and swap the insides of the nose and the mouth. Then you set the facial features by putting cotton in the nose, eye caps below the eyelids, and a mouth former in the mouth. Then you tie the mouth shut with wire or sutures. Then you drain out all the blood by puncturing a major artery or the heart and injecting embalming fluid. Then you take this long, pointed metal tube that's attached to a suction hose, and you puncture the stomach, bladder, 
large intestines and the lungs. And you suck out all the fluids and the gas. And then you inject cavity fluid into the torso. Usually you have to pack the anus and vagina with cotton or gauze to prevent seepage. And then you close up all the holes and you rewash the body. Would you like a bite? No, oh, thank you. Uh, I'm allergic to peanuts. Uh, actually, I, I meant, how do you do it? Like, you don't find it gross? Because I'm a girl? No, because it's gross. Death doesn't bother me. One of the other elements in Just Buried is there's a competition between funeral homes that's going on in this small town, and they wind up blowing up the competitor's crematory by stuffing a body full of pacemakers. Yes, when anyone is cremated, the pacemaker is removed because pacemakers have batteries and batteries will explode in the retort. Well, they put together a whole host of pacemakers into one body and put that in the crematory and it's a huge explosion. So it is a, a very quirky comedy, but you will learn a few things about the funeral business by watching this film. The 1991 film, My Girl, shows Dan Aykroyd as a widower who is also a funeral director. His wife died giving birth to his daughter, the My Girl in the title. Jamie Lee Curtis is a cosmetologist who does hair and makeup. She has come to this small town. She's looking for a job and she gets a job at the funeral home doing hair and makeup on corpses. In this scene, she visits with the funeral director in his office as he's working on obituary writing. Hi. Oh, hi. What can I do for you? Nothing. I was just wondering what you were doing. Oh, I'm just typing up a funeral notice. You know, when someone dies, we put one in the paper usually. It's a service we provide for the family. All right, right. Fader Lorenzo, died June 22nd, 1972. Devoted husband to Nicolette. Cherished father of Fabrizio and Heidi. In lieu of flowers, please send donations to the Holy Name Society. Hmm. I wrote that. No kidding. Oh, it's good, in lieu of. I love that word, lieu. I prefer it to instead. It has more dignity. Lou instead. No contest. It's no big deal, but... Harry, right. you have to learn how to take a compliment. Movies, movies. <gasps> Love story at the drive-in. Cried my eyes out. Did you see it? I haven't been to the movies in ages. I love to see movies. Especially at the drive-in. I don't think there's anything more romantic than going to the drive-in. Huh? I'll let you get back to work. I do enjoy playing bingo. And if you'd like to join me for a game tomorrow night at church, you're welcome to. Okay. You might have noticed that the obituary in the newspaper that she read is also the same obituary that he was typing up for another family. We need to bring a little more variety into our obituary writing. My Girl also deals with the very sensitive topic of the death of a young child. And they do it in a way that's very sensitive and could be very educational if you watch that film. And let us not forget The Loved One, the 1965 
Black and white film is a satire of the funeral industry. It touches on a whole range of issues, including how funerals and weddings can be very similar events. It also pokes fun at pet funerals and cremations. And let us not forget upselling, a great scene of Liberace as a casket salesman. Now these films are in addition to other coronavirus cinema collection movies that we've done. You don't want to miss from, based on a true story, Jack Black as Bernie T.D. in the film Bernie, and Bill Murray as the funeral director in the film Get Low, a true story of a man in 1938 who wanted to have his funeral while he was alive. We also have from the funny funeral film collection, Undertaking Betty with Alfred Molina and Christopher Walken playing competing funeral directors in a small town in Wales. So check out those other films in those other coronavirus cinema collections. There are links in the description below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and like this channel. If you're interested in a virtual or in-person presentation about funeral planning issues, with film clips, I do have a license to use movies in my presentations. We will not be fined $250,000 or thrown into jail for five years. I'm Gail Rubin, the doyen of death, reminding you, wash your hands. And remember, just like talking about sex won't make you pregnant, talking about funerals and end-of-life issues won't make you dead, start a conversation today.